Okay, so a big part of uh, my program is the estrogen reset. So the first 30 days, the girls are advised that they must eat a pound of vegetables every day. I mean, this should continue for the rest of your life. Um, they need to eat a pound of vegetables per day as well as eliminate meat for, and the meat part is, we discussed in another video, for all the antibiotics and hormones and fatteners that are pumped into meat are also gonna fatten you up. And it also is going to increase your estrogen. Uh, the, the vegetables, the reason why it's a mandatory part of my program is because all this fiber and greens is going to keep things moving in your system and also push out any excess estrogen that's just sitting there and turning into fat, yep. correct? I think that it's important for people to know that estrogen can only leave our body through the large intestine. So fiber is huge and it's the only way our body produces estrogen naturally when we have things like uh, hormone filled meats that also includes estrogen into our body tofu, anything that has a phytoestrogen, if we're not going to the bathroom and using it regularly, yes, we're going and to keep on circulating. That's why vegans have the advantage yeah. in that because they are eating so much more vegetables, more than meat eaters, yeah. and even I find that I think every single woman, 120% when they enter my program, is never even eating half the amount of vegetables that I require. And so that's why so many women, there's, there's a huge estrogen dominance epidemic because nobody's eating enough vegetables yeah. in their diet, right? And this is what a pound of vegetables looks like. We tend to stick to green ones, which we'll talk about, but just for your visual, this is, it's two broccolis and an entire bunch, bunch of, endive. of endive. So. Let's talk about, um, Nadia, you and I are both pro-green vegetables, even though we acknowledge the fact that tomatoes, eggplants, um, carrots have lots of antioxidant properties that are great. However, we focus on the anti-inflammatory properties of green vegetables as well as their digestion. So, yeah, so greens, I like to tell people, are my superfood. There are so many different types of greens. I always recommend to switch your greens up too. You never want to stick to just spinach every yeah. single day. You want to try new things like endives, collard greens, dandelions, and that's going to give you different nutrients uh, throughout the day. Um, um, talk to me how to prepare. Things like endive and collard greens are not very common for people to purchase at the supermarket. Yeah. So endive, this is one of my favorite greens. Um, what I would do with this is just cut off the ends, of course, wash it, and um, I boil this in a pot of water. So I would quickly boil it, take it out. Um, I normally blanch it just yeah. to make sure it, uh, you like the green color. Once you um, finish blanching it, you, I just drizzle some oil mm -hmm. and lemon, salt, and that's it. Yeah, good. And collard greens? So these ones are actually dandelions. Those are dandelions, yeah. that's great. So you're going to take the dandelion. Your dandelions are huge. I know, you know what? They're not my organic dandelions. Holy that's why shoot. I just stopped off at the store to grab them. So these are dandelion. Yeah. Um, they are amazing for liver health. They're going to help with getting that excess water mm -hmm. uh, out of your system if you're eating too much salt, too much mm -hmm. um, sugar. This is an amazing green to add in. It's a natural diuretic. That's right. So it's it's just keeping things moving and it's going to increase digestion Yeah. because it's acting as a diuretic. So Dandelion are a little bit more bitter than most people yes. enjoy. So I even keep it uh, raw and I'll cut it up and put it in my favorite salad. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. Or, or blanched. Or, yeah, or blanched, stir fried, oil. sauteed. Exactly. Right? Um, parsley, which I am very fond of. I'll eat an entire parsley yeah, salad. Exactly. You don't um, want to have a sprig of parsley. It's not going no. to do the same thing. <laughs> yeah. So parsley, um, any herb is going, that's so flavorful. It's flavorful because it has so many vitamins and minerals in it. And that's what gives it such a pungent, um, very different taste. So the more And imagine those the vitamins and minerals when yeah. you're eating more than just a sprinkle on your fish, right? <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Use you want to make that people, into a salad. <laughs> make it into a salad, make it a part, you know, even make it a, a I'll put a half a cup or a cup yeah. with my salad. Exactly. So we want to make sure we're getting enough of it because it's, it's one of those vegetables that 
people yes, so much in it mm -hmm. uh fennel same thing with the dandelion lots yeah. of lots of digestion properties there amazing for digestion it mm -hmm. actually also has a uh, natural electrolytes in there as well so okay nice. it will help refuel you rebalance yeah. out your electrolytes which Good. we need uh, my favorite broccolis yeah broccoli amazing high in fiber has a lot of calcium in it very filling and the key to broccoli is you want to very lightly blanch it yeah. not to eliminate those properties exactly right so foil and blanch asparagus yeah <laughs> asparagus <laughs> is amazing also great for liver health kidney health um, it's going to help break down um, bad fats and um, yeah and when it comes to uh, green vegetables we say the rule is there is no rule you can have as many green vegetables as you'd like and so when I know that women are not eating enough they tell me they're hungry I know they're not eating enough vegetables in their diet and that's one of the first thing that goes away on my program is that once they get introduced the fact of the the amount that they actually have to eat to just be a human being in my books um, then that is when they fully realize the benefits of how food is responsible for how they can feel and yeah. look right yeah it's like this is your internal facial exactly you can do as much as you want on the outside mm -hmm. um, but if we're not taking care of the inside it's not going to match, yeah. right? The I learned end. that the hard way. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. I think we all did, you know, yeah. we all did. So um, get your veggies in, weigh, you know, get a scale and make sure you're eating that minimum one pound per day. If you wanna avoid things like cancers, uh, diabetes, high um, control high estrogen, control your blood sugar, um, you know, it's, the the answer, the answer is in yeah. is in vegetables. I, I would wear it. it. <laughs> Wear crap. Okay. Thanks, Nadia. No problem.